this is not where I expected to be. Oh well, um, hey everybody. Full disclosure. Again, because my mic wasn't working. <clears throat> Happy April Fools. Ah, that would have been you shit. Um, rest assured, I got mine too. Because I recorded seven hours of this game. And I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed playing this game. It was very nice. I knew, I know, I can, just, I can full disclosure you guys hard now. I knew most of it. I watched a couple Let's Plays on it. Um, not like with 100% of my attention, but in the background while I did other stuff. I uh, helped my friend with some stuff uh, when he was playing it because he struggled with uh, one of the boss fights. And I played uh, quite a bit of it in VR, which I think I talked about uh, earlier, uh, which is really, 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 really cool. And if you know someone who has a VR rig, I do recommend it. <laughs> Small doses. <laughs> it is a little stomach churning. Uh, so the first hour footage, what you guys saw, was fine. I mean, aside from the graphical issues, which I, I mean, which seem better. I mean, I think they seem better. I mean, for running everything on low, I'm, I'm not totally unhappy. Actually, now that I'm recording with a different method, I am going to turn the brightness up a little bit. Because I'm using fraps. Death Evan, why are you using fraps? You were just saying on the stream the other day that, uh, is that too bright? Probably not. Um, that you don't have fraps. You didn't even have it installed the other day. And I did not even have it installed the other day. But... OBS, uh, and this, and another game, Mages of Australia, I tried to record twice. Hi, lady. Um, I'm gonna go over here where she can't look at me. Um, suffer insane memory leak, or memory loss. Uh, so while it was recording, fine. Like, Fraps says I'm anywhere from 50 to 100 FPS right now, if it's anything to go by. Um... It recorded at 5 FPS for 6 hours, and then I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> oh, God, that was a long day. Because I wanted to do a thing. I wanted it to be special for you guys, and then my computer just fucked it all up. Also, it was real crash heavy, which I'm wondering if this lack of memory loss, which is weird because Fraps uses up a ton of memory. But I remember... When I first got this rig, I was playing Flame in the Flood with Fraps, and rendering footage, and uploading to YouTube, um, and streaming, all at the same time. And my computer didn't give a shit. So I don't know. I think the recording with OBS, uh, I think I've, uh, I don't know, I was just struggling with it. But uh, anyway, we're going to do Resident Evil. We're gonna, for me, I'm going to do it again. Maybe you've done it again. It's been out a while. I don't expect people to have not played it or watched it. There's been a lot of really great Let's Plays. I mean, the Team Four Star guys had Krillin play it. Uh, Matt and Pat, two best friends, did it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm sure some people we all regularly watch have done it. But, uh... Yeah. Well, and, you know, playing Resident Evil 6 with Koro kind of got me in the mood, and it kind of hit me. I know what I'll do. That thing I did with the video. <laughs> I thought it was great. This is going to be an awesome idea. And then I'll just upload everything and fuck up everyone's inbox the next day. <clears throat> so yeah, I got mine. So anyway, happy April Fool's Day. And let's uh, rejoin Ethan in his quest to find his waifu. Boy, our hand looks bad. Got a cool watch, though. Escape the house. So I will try to be candid about things. Uh, I'll mention things I noticed. Uh, we'll talk about mechanics. We'll talk about problems I have. And we'll talk about things I really, really like. Because there's some stuff I really, really like in this game. Like, I love this texture. I can see through it. Kind of. I can't remember if there's anything out there. I love some of the graphical work in this. It's amazing. I wish my computer could run it better. We'll manage. And I get to read all these goddamn files again. <laughs> Three missing during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men who went missing during the travels 
to Dulvey Parish from New Orleans on the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walk and Andre Strickland Clancy Jarvis. The three, oh yeah, those guys. Uh, the three produced videos for the internet and traveled to Dulvey to shoot footage for their latest production. Their videos consist of mostly the group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. See, those guys know what I'm going through where you record a bunch of footage and it just goes to shit. I mean, it's the kind of thing that you want to impale yourself on a meat hook over. It's just the worst. Okay, fuss with some stuff, and we're back. And this game is cursed. I recorded it again for like another hour, and then Fraps ate the footage. I don't know what to do. But, I'm a Capricorn. And this game will bow to my will. Or else. There's no alternative. Unveiled Abyss. I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. Quit looking at me, you old bag. I'm tired of your shit. It's you, isn't it? She's probably the one screwing up my game. I even forget what we were talking about. So this is, uh... They eat people. It's a thing they do. That's a herb. Uh, let's see, in here, there's a little boot. It says Evelyn on it. Something I hadn't found before. But I found last time, while I was fussing around with this. My god. This place is just terrible. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, so. We are in the game proper. There's actual, we'll have inventory, our actions have consequences, all kinds of stuff. Maybe it's this note that I keep looking at that's cursed about dog collars. I buy a lot of dog collars. I don't know why. I can't imagine how useful they are. Where's my mower? Has anybody seen my leg? Seems to be mower. I know where your mower is. Random bastard. Anyway, here we have a little locked thing. So, yeah, this part's getting real familiar, because I keep having to play it. Um, a thing. I am going to deviate a moment. Get this gray garage down here. Could be anything down here. All we have is an herb and some bullets in our inventory, so there's not a lot we can do. Feels like there should be something down here, but I don't think there's anything loose in this area, because we have to learn about mechanics. Anyway, so it's secured with tape that can't be removed by hand. Fine. This area. This door. So it opens the door. Tape. Jagged sheet metal. I'm just saying. A cow skull with horns and a no parking sign that was also made out of very thin metal. A picture frame. With maybe not glass. I don't know. There's a lot of picture frames. Some of these damn things have to have glass. She had a sharp piece of wood you could break that tape with. Oh, that's neat. Oh, okay, so this is the side I can see out on. I like that texture. Right, we'll go this way. Oh no, a loading prompt. I could feel the frame stutter just a little bit. Okay, so, when I was recording this earlier, the first time I did this... Oh, she's gone. I think I would have noticed that. Ooh, I know what to do. This way. I didn't hide over here last time. This is a good idea. Because <laughs> he's going to wander around. We have a very tiny area with which to avoid him, and we need to get in that little square down there. Okay, so if that door is not shut, or not open all the way, this is the first time I played this. Oh, son of a bitch, that's why he keeps going that way. Anyway, the first time I played this, uh, he didn't do that. He walked into the dining room. I didn't have to worry about shit. And this last time I was doing it, he was just whipping my ass. Because he kept going directly into that room. Because that's the room I want to be in, so I was hiding there. There's a key there. We want this key. Now we just need to get around him, and get into that square down there. So, I can't do a lot of original gameplay, sadly, because 
I've done this part With several times. Please don't come back this way. Room. Okay, not a lot I can do about that. That's okay. We can make this work. Okay, get, get in here. Get in here. Okay, do that. That's a good one to do. See, then he gets mad at the table. He might be. Behind. Yeah, I'm about to say he might be behind me. Yeah, not a lot you can do about the headbutt. Okay, he's in the way. So we need to keep going. <laughs> keep your guard up. Protect yourself at all times. It's over, boy. Never. This might work. It might work. Open you, son of a bitch. Yeah, we got it. Nope, nope. We're gonna take another hit. There we go. So you can't get me now. I'm in a hole. All right. Take that, you shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a great time down here. Anyway, through here. No. Through one of these holes. There's a box I couldn't get to. There's a coin. Also, it's hard to see because we're covered in blood. Maybe it was further down. I don't know. There's a... Actually, I think it's back over here. Ah, it doesn't matter. We can't get it from down here anyway. I thought I could. There's something new that I didn't notice before. Get up in here. Okay. This is a safe area. Spawn smelly ass. Because that phone rings. That's not right. The phone. The phone, that's what we want. Ugh, it's all running together. You did good, Ethan. Did I? Right. What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. Oh. There might be a way out through the main hall. Maybe. Oh. And that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Okay, just trying to remember what I've explained before and what I haven't. Here's a map. It's handy. See? That's the main house. Okay, we got this. This is our crafting menu. Um, you combine the chem fluid with various things, like herbs, and it makes better things, like first aid med. It's a really great mechanic. I really like it. I think it's a great way to do stuff. This is a little thing. You can pick it up. You can put it down. About it. No, it's a Resident Evil. Rotate it. It's got stuff in it. It's got a lockpick. We'll need that. Over here's my box. Um, I got stuff for beating the game. I'm not worried about. Uh, let's see. Could be fun. Uh, these are smelly socks. I appreciate the little things. Oop. I like this box fan. Very whiskey tango. Anyway, we need to go check out the main entrance to the house. There's not a lot of exploration I'm going to do, because I've done this part a lot. I want to get through it. There's a big dumb emblem. I like that. Also, there's a smug little bastard over here. Maybe these are the things keeping me in this time loop. This is like Groundhog's Day. I keep having to record this. Um, the thing about this game is you get the little lock, and there's one place to go. It's the garage. I'm betting we're going to find a thing there that will help us get through this. First, we have to get in the garage. Um, I guess we'll head back over there. But that's kind of how the game goes. It's not real open as far as your puzzles and your puzzle solutions. You kind of find a locked thing, get a thing that opens the thing, go through the locked thing. Which sounds simple. Um, someone's knocking. But compared to like Resident Evil 1 or 2, where you have a bunch of keys, or 3, that clusterfuck, we got like 20 different quest items. Veronica's a hey. little less open-ended. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Open up. Oh god, I'm hey, gonna listen to this guy. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to you in a second. 
I gotta do this real quick. First aid! Yeah, I'll get to you. I'm I'm tired of you. Okay, I did get that. Okay, we're good. Hey you! What? Hey! Hey, I'm in danger, please help me. Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back That's up. not what you say. No. See, I'm in danger. So you live here? I please mean, help me. Your property. What? And show we them your no. hand. Alright. Now we got several calls about some missing persons. Ethan. You don't understand. I gotta get no, out of here. No, no, no. The other Calm hand. Down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all covered right. in blood. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck. He's chuckling at me. Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons call. I'm a missing and person. And I rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. I hate you. Right. I hate you I'll so much. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now that's more like. This is worse yeah. than a horror movie. Meet me in the garage. We'll talk. Wait, why can't hey, we talk wait. here? You gotta give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Uh, really, Ethan? Look. Officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? <laughs> or do you want to be a hero and save my life? Now, how frequently do we get two just completely ignorant characters in a video game? A fucking just, pocket just, knife? Uh, Here, take it. And be so grateful for that. Now go. Ethan, garage. you shit. Now. What am I gonna do with a knife? I don't know. Stab some bitches? It's a hell of a lot more than you had, you mouthy son of a bitch. God, he's whiny. Anyway, we're gonna save. Saving works a lot better with fraps than it does in the, uh, kill the bobble heads. Uh, works a lot better than it does in the, um, when I was using OBS, and OBS had its problems. Okay, I'm gonna check some stuff. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think I can finally calm down. I'm, I'm feeling better about this. The, the files are working a little better. I think the problem was I was recording in full size, and I was using my external hard drive, and there are just problems. I'm just having lots of problems. I just take out my frustration on inanimate objects. And a bullet, so that's a good sign. Okay, so now that we have the magical knife, this is the one thing it's used for. This tape. <coughs> Right, A button. Actually, it's useful for lots of things. Just, this is the, thankfully the only knife puzzle. Quote, quote. quote. It pushes the button. Hey, um. Come here, buddy. Look, it's like there's an event trigger or something. Oh well. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to uh, tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle out. of the night. Let's go outside. Me? What about you? No, it's let's my go job. outside. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer you my question. my job. You're not going to believe me if I told you. Try it. Ah, uh, we're all going to die. Hey, put that door back. Put that door back. Put what did he do anything? <laughs> it's really cool in VR, by the way. You realize... When you consider... Fuck you. I'm going to kill every one of you. Um, grab these. These are car keys. Run away from the man with the axe. Or shovel. Yeah, axe. Just a big fucking axe. Right, get him on the other side of the car. Get in the car. And then push the button. That looks cool. It's very therapeutic. Uh, this, I found, is the best way to do this. Otherwise, you take hits. Taking hits isn't fun. I mean, it's fun, but you use up your resources. <laughs> that, you old bastard. Okay, now, uh... Get up, so I can ram you again. Huh? Alright, oh, that... Oh, shit. See? Yeah. Ethan, just take your foot off the pedal. Quick, Ethan. That's that's not how cars work. Just just take your foot off the pedal. We'll be fine. Oh no. Let's finish this, you and I. Can I suggest checkers? But I'm not good at Marvel vs. Capcom.
That's also really cool in VR. Make you shit your pants, though. You look a little rough, Ethan. So is he! I think we definitely got the better end of this deal. Okay. So, like any good police officer, this guy had a gun. That's down there. Woohoo! That's in the wrong spot. I like it over there. Oh, boy! Oh, for piss sake. Oh. You know? I managed to do this without him grabbing me before. Thankfully, it's fairly scripted. Okay, so he's really dead this time. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do some of that. Oh, we're still hurt. How hurt are we? Eh. Enough that eating a herb, which is very inefficient, mind you. But it did get clear up the rest of that pesky blood. There's an... Oh, my baby. My poor baby. Some stuff we can get in here. Like that first aid bed. Uh, I think that's about it. There's no button in here to open the garage door. How do you... How did... Huh. Oh, I don't know if I found that before. Well, yeah, we might as... Yeah, we might as well. Always start combining with your chem fluid so you don't accidentally eat your herb by mistake. Happens. If you don't pick up the gun, it disappears after the explosion, and it teleports over here in front of the ladder so you don't accidentally miss it. It's good stuff. It's good design, I like that. <laughs> Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some wonderful. Oh, fuck! Neat trick, Jack. Well, I certainly feel better about it. That's Jack. I don't know if I've said the names yet. So Jack, Marguerite, and uh, I think you mentioned Lucas. And there's Zoe. Zoe's our lady on the phone. Hey! I know I've never found that before. I'm terrible at video games. It's that thing we need! In the same room as a boss fight! That happens a lot, too. It's a bit straightforward. Especially once you know what you're looking for. Which, unfortunately, we know what we're looking for. But, you know... You guys know I'm not one for bumble-fucking around. I like having a nice, concise, well-put-together Let's Play. Such as it is. Yeah. My problem lies in with recording issues. Speaking of, let's go get rid of those shotgun shells. So I imagine it'll be a while before we can use them. Throw a quick save down so we never have to do that again. Unless it didn't record for some reason. In which case, I'll have to do it again. I might need those. I should use less health than I did the first time through this, but who knows. I may still be crap. Okay. Uh, so we gotta save. So now we can go to the other part of the house. That's where the game really starts to open up. Incidentally, when Jack is chasing you, if you elude him and come this way, uh, he'll just bust through the wall. It's really cool. But it gives you a nice shortcut. Also, uh, more broken glass that we could have used to cut the tape. But I sure am glad we got this pocket knife now. Yay! I believe that is the only instance of that type of puzzle. Well, kinda.